Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with MIDI drivers or a musical instrument digital interface. So if you're having an issue with drivers on your computer, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend, if there is a specific instrument or software that you're using, I'd recommend going on to the manufacturer's website and seeing if they have any new drivers available for download, in which case most utilities have you know all built in one, and you don't have to actually manually install the drivers, it'll just download as an executable, and it'll install for you. If not, you can always manually install the drivers as well, and I do have tutorials on my channel for that, just search it up on how to manually install drivers for Windows 11. But anyway, if you've tried that and you're still coming across this issue, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And now I will have a command in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy it. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. And then select the advanced button here, and make sure it's checkmarked to apply repairs automatically. Select next. And I'd recommend following along with any prompts it suggests. And there you go guys, once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And what's just closing out of any open programs and applications, and go ahead and restart your device. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.